Game developers have a lot of demands placed on them. Whether they're working full time at a studio, or running their own company, or even just working as a freelancer, there's a lot to do every single day for every discipline in game development. And unfortunately, a lot of us believe that we're really bad at time management, when in reality, we just don't know how to manage our energy. It's energy management we should be concerning ourselves with. We can't necessarily manage five minutes so well that it will magically become six. So how do we instead manage our energy instead of just focusing on managing our time? Well, there's a few techniques. First is the Pomodoro technique that I really enjoy and use very, very frequently throughout my day. Simply put, the Pomodoro technique is just taking work and breaking it down into 25 minute sprints. So you work for 25 minutes and you take a five minute break. Work again for 25 minutes, take another five minute break and on and on. After about four of these, all you need to do is take a longer 10 to 15 minute break and then go back into it if you feel like it. Or if you're done your work, great, you're done for the day. Working in these quick sprints allows you to keep your motivation and work output very, very high while also breaking down your tasks into small, digestible chunks. So you don't need to constantly worry that you have seven more hours of work to do for the rest of the day. Next is a technique that Anthony Trollope, an author, used to write over 40 books in his lifetime. Now, when he was writing, he wrote in 15-minute spurts with no breaks in between, so not like the Pomodoro technique. He wrote in 15-minute spurts, and if by the end of 15 minutes he wrote down 250 words, he would count that as a sprint completed. He would just take out a piece of paper, mark a checkbox, and be done. He could keep going if he felt like it, but if he didn't want to, he could stop for the day and then call it quits. He would do this every single day, and doing those small 15-minute chunks made it very easy for him to write over 40 books in his lifetime. Now, how do we take a break? That's a very strange question to ask, I know, but when we're taking a break, honestly, most of us just kind of stay at our computer or keep our brain engaged in some way, shape, or form. But really, to take a really effective break that brings our energy back and brings the vitality back, that gets us excited to work again, involves making a clean cut. Meaning that if you finish your Pomodoro or your sprint or you're done for the day, take a break that has nothing to do with your work. So for example, I work on the computer all day, many of you do as well. So when I'm done with that sprint and I'm taking that five minute break in my Pomodoro, I just go out to another room and do something completely different. I read a book or I make a call or go for a walk, whatever it may be, I do something completely different so my brain actually has time to rest. And when we're working in these sprints, we want to make sure we're not multitasking. We want to make sure we're staying focused. And one app I recommend for people who want to stay focused and don't want to get distracted by YouTube or Periscope or Twitter or anything is an app called Freedom. Freedom allows you to block many websites all at once and keep your focus high and even block your entire internet connection altogether so that you can stay focused on your task and not have to worry about outside distractions. Keeping our energy management in mind, keeping our work output high and our motivation high and digesting it into these bite-sized chunks will help keep our motivation high, our work output high, and in the end, allow us to make better games.